Welcome to Will It Fill It, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In Will It Fill It, we take a look at the fillet tool in SOLIDWORKS and ways we can add tricky and problematic fillets to our models. I'd like to start with a little bit of theory to understand how the fillet tool works in the background. So if I go to add a fillet to this edge here in red, and the fillet tool was dumb, it might give me a result like this in blue, where the fillets actually undercut these two conical shapes. However, lucky for us, the fillet tool has some intelligence built in. What the fillet tool is able to do is automatically extend the two conical faces here in red. The fillet now has somewhere to end. Likewise, when I go to fillet this edge of the conical shape, the fillet tool might extend over the edge and give me something like this. But because the fillet tool has smarts built in, once again it's able to extend a face, shown here in red, allowing the fillet to terminate. Now when I go to add the blue fillet, there are no faces available to end the fillet. So what the fillet tool is also able to do is taper itself to nothing where it terminates at this corner here. Note that the size of the fillet is decreasing, but the radius of the fillet is not. The radius stays the same along its length. And fillets in the real world take a whole bunch of different uh, shapes. This is an example of a cast part with lots of different filleting situations. Jumping into SOLIDWORKS, let's take a look at them. So here we have an example of a blended fillet where this fillet washes out seamlessly. It kind of fades into this cylindrical shape here. We also have a fillet at the parting line where if we just use the standard fillet tool we may get a inadequate result but if we manually define the shape we can get a smoother transition here. We have the example of a manually built fillet where this fillet was actually built with the surface loft and or boundary surface command instead of using the standard variable radius fillet. We have the example of a fillet changing shape where we have a concave fillet transitioning into a convex fillet and somewhere along this path the fillet is perfectly flat. We have examples of uh, fillets that need to flow into each other that weren't originally modeled that way. So lots of different filleting examples in this part. We'll be taking a look at it throughout this video tutorial. So if you're interested in seeing how I modeled some of these tricky fillets and was able to uh, get the fillets that this part required, Please follow the Demonic Group on LinkedIn. We'll be announcing new videos in the series. Thanks.